Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Do you guys hear that? That is the sound of Ellie running with Molly and not barking her head off. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> yeah, it's because Molly tells her off and then she doesn't do it. But before I forget, I wanted to tell you guys that uh, Ruby's hair appointment got canceled. Something happened with them and they had to cancel it, but she still goes. She just goes a week later. It's the crack of dawn. And we're gonna go see. I heard baby crying this morning, but I thought it was Winston. Yeah, good. So we're gonna see. And Molly's getting better with Ellie. But she used to hate her, and now she hates her. Yeah, because they're always the ones that go together. <laughs> First thing we have to do is just check for babies. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> So it was this guy that I heard crying this morning. I saw him on the camera too. Someone in the comments said that he's like special because he's so friendly. Isn't that so kind? He's like his mama. Yeah, his mom would have been exactly the same. <laughs> Hi. Oh, she's so cute. Everybody's excited. No babies over here. We can't wait to see that udder. It's like a surprise thing for me now. Her sides are looking a little more sunken. Don't turn around. I want to see it when you run out. She is looking a little sus. Her vulva is like really moving around. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, so Sandy, one of our followers, said, um, please pop your udder so Laura can get over it in the comments. I was just laughing so hard. Like, if you think that my utter obsession, my popping utter obsession is bad. Wait. Wait until you see my obsession when we milk. We had to block we had to milk blossom out a little when she was first nursing Winston because he wasn't able to take all that milk. And let me tell you, I am gonna be obsessed with udders. Like for sure. It's all part of having dairy goats. Good morning, duck. Good morning, goose. <laughs> they're saying they're like, let me out. You so, me someone out. in the comments what said, happens when we walk away? You gotta walk away too. He cries. No, nope, not now. But he also, someone in the comments said they think he's extra special because he's extra cuddly and extra sweet. But I want to say that. His temperament is amazing, so that is absolutely true. But also, he's been handled so much since birth, so that makes it easier for him to be extra cuddly and extra sweet. Well, all the others are going to be too. I know, but and, some and they scream. Then some will be screamers because that's just a baby goat thing. It's all about temperament. Animals have temperaments just like us. What did you do with your bangs? I trimmed it. But why are the two outside pieces longer? Because I wanted it like that. Okay, but though that's too small, two pieces to be like that. I know, I'm going to do it bigger. I was just doing a Hi, trial I'm run. I'm sorry, I walked away from you. But yeah, it's so true. He is so sweet and so loving. He has his mom's temperament, his grandma's temperament, and that's what we want to breed. Like, Does that get me out of here? That's why we handle our babies, because he is going to be amazing. He's going to be an amazing goat because he's so loved. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why? They horn you. What are you thinking? Come here, Ellie. <laughs> what? She's Ellie, <laughs> out. <laughs> so we put her out there so she doesn't chase goats. Because one thing you guys might not know about Ellie is that Ellie doesn't back down. So if a goat chases her or tries to horn her, it's game on and then she like will fight the goat. Obviously, she doesn't cause any damage because goats are way bigger and have bigger horns. She but just, we try and keep her away from the goats. I'm crying is how I found Winston. I know. He, he, see, did you hear it? He's like, I want out. I'm trying to wait for everybody to finish eating, though. All right. Are you guys ready? We're going to, this is called the utter, the utter pop watch. Stop pushing your baby. <laughs> She's like, I've had enough of this for today. <laughs> this is called the utter pop walk 
So we're going to watch for udders. Today is one day, 144. So if Mocha's going to have a baby tomorrow, we want to see an udder pop today. All right, go ahead. Let those ones out. Out you go. And there they go. He's coming back in, though. Yeah. He's going to come back. All right, and then I let her out. No, 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 because I don't like him to eat all the food. All right, watch that udder. He's with the dogs. And it's not looking popped. He looks sick. All right, watch the udder. This one's not due for till Monday. Okay, well, Rocky's going to. <laughs> she can't eat and anymore. She doesn't run anymore. I know, that. she's so Aww. pregnant. Aww. Sorry about your luck. No goat chasing today. <laughs> he goes right to his tire. I'm so happy I put that in here for him. Well, no babies yet, but I have faith in today. The last time I said that, look at she kind of looks popped. Every day I think she kind of looks popped. I feel like the wrong Wait, is that the wrong? Is that the wrong no. goat? No, that's the right goat. Check for collars. No collars. Oh, you know what? I forgot to check for ligaments. <laughs> That's so fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could watch that all day. Poor little Lola. Oh, see? Stop. She used to be friendly with Lola, but now that she has a baby, it's game over. Because all she has to do is chase Lola around. I know. I know. The baby is terrible. He chases Lola 24 hours okay, a day. Yeah, smell her while she's peeing. Oh, that's a sign. She just smelled. Look, is there goo coming from her? I don't know. You don't get to see any signs of schmuckums except for this popped udder. I know, it's really hard to see signs in goats. You have to like really know the signs. And I know the signs, but they just don't show them to me. Look, hers is moving a lot too. And look at her sides are really sunk in. That's that happens when babies are getting into position to be born. Sophie says that that Blossom used to be an old boring goat. <laughs> She's only a year old. And now that she has a baby, she plays like crazy. So I don't know if you guys can see this. But I have an infected finger. It's only ever happened to me once before in my life and it's awful because what happens is that you have to poke a hole in it and get all the pus out. It's the only way to heal it. Get back here. Ellie, you get back here. Ellie, get your butt back here. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Because it's on, uh, on my finger, on the side of my finger, it's super sensitive and honestly, it's so painful, but you have to get rid of that pus otherwise it just gets more painful and then it hurts even more so I have to get that done today I'm gonna get Sam to lance it it's gonna hurt I feel bad for me <laughs> so another job that I want to do this this week is I want to rake up all this hay because I want them to have grass get out of that I do not know what's there but stop rolling in it ah get out of it that's how you end up in the tub what if we made this area right here our pig area like it's pretty big and we could build onto this shelter and build like another shelter on this side or we could even take down that wall and just make it like a two-sided shelter and he could have the and then we could put water in here for him and he could have this whole area then he could go into the barnyard if he wanted because he could fit through that fence probably and then we could kind of keep them separate, but not. I don't know, what do you guys think? Comment below. I want to do something fun with that area, I just don't know what yet. Have you guys ever tried to crack a goose egg and failed? What, did you just try and crack it? No, when I cracked it the first time, I failed because yeah, the... they are thick. I could probably drop this and it wouldn't even crack. Should we test it? No. <laughs> it is gorgeous out. Uh, Sophie just finished homeschool, so I'm coming out to do all the things that I like to do during the day. Daisy's coming out for her regular morning run. She does come out. She always comes out. She stays in this area. She only stays here. She doesn't love the barns. Hi, sweet girl. Hi. 
You coming to say hi to me? She knows what she likes. She lays in the driveway. Get some sun. <laughs> yeah. She smells my food. I got food for the chickens. The thing with Daisy is when she's out here running around, you have to be mindful and dedicated to just watching her and making sure that she sticks around. Another day, another rooster fight. Ellie, that's one thing you got. Ellie, stop fighting the rooster. This is what Ellie. I, no. <laughs> This is one thing you guys don't know about Ellie. She is always up for a fight. Cute. Oh my so gosh. Cute. That Sophie, like I, people complain that Sophie's not good enough to her animals, but honestly, like her animals love her. How many of you guys know is that a rooster? Is she a rooster or no? Her comb doesn't say it, but I mean I think it's turning into a rooster. I don't know. So anyways, these are the roosters that we're deciding between. We're switching up our roosters. Our rooster is mean. I'm definitely going to get rid of our rooster because he's not deserving. <laughs> I don't know if it's a girl or if it's a boy. Oh, it's a girl, Sophie. We can't tell if this one's a girl or if it's a boy. She's so sweet. All right, put her down there. Okay, so these are the roosters that we like. So this one is so beautiful. Stunning, you guys. And it is Probably. gentle. It's a gentle, like... Probably friendlier, though. Um, and then this is the one that Sophie likes. So this one's really friendly and stunning. Pablo. Yep. And then this is Pablo, the one that Sophie really likes. And he's so cute. He's got lots of color in him. And we like, we just like the look of him. I'm starting oh, to think her tail's... Well, I don't know. He has more saddle feathers than her. Hers are, like, stringier. Yeah, so they're the same age. Look at his saddle feathers. And then look at hers, or his. Well, they're the same, Sophie. Yeah, there's a bee in there. They're the same. Ah, ah there's bees. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sophie, get over yourself. It's spring. I'll stop <laughs> There's actually a bee inside. And there's a bee. Woo! And there's a bee right there. <laughs> it's fine. Mom. The chickens will eat it. You guys see it flying around there? Anyway, so if you had to choose, we're only choosing two roosters. So these two, because I'm keeping that one no matter what. Yeah, so out of these three, which ones would you choose? Comment below. Jesus! Ellie, stop fighting roosters! Put the rooster in here, so that rooster has got to go. Yeah, that rooster's got to go, the one that she's over there chasing, because she's already she's already fighting other roosters. I mean, this one doesn't stand like a rooster, this one does. But this one is green in her tail. I know, it's really hard to tell. And see, the reason that I'm thinking that she's not a rooster is because she's super pale. See her comb? Look, the other barred rock is pecking her. <laughs> so anyways, the ones that we want to keep are... These two. These two. But this one's really pretty. I know. So if this one turns out to be a girl... Then we can keep both of those. Then we can keep both of those. It is springtime. Is the time to figure out who is going and who is staying. So yeah, she is. she is so sweet. Or he. I think it's a he. I wonder if they're offended when we call them she or he. And you know, like, other chickens know that she's a boy or a girl. I know. It's just us that don't know. Yeah. Ellie. Yeah. Sit. 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 This little dog. <laughs> I don't know what to do with her. She is like, uh, sit, stay, Penguin is so stay. <laughs> she is a devil. No matter what way you look at it, people warned me. They said, Laura, don't get a Yorkie. Yorkies are, are trouble. And she is trouble. But I like trouble. <laughs> I do. I just don't like you fighting chickens. Right, it's I'm not kind. I don't like you fighting ducks. I don't like you fighting goats. I don't like you fighting horses. I just want you to not fight, okay? So my goal today is to just get one job done. Today's the end of the really warm days. I hate that one. I love this one. So my job today is to clean up one full thing. I wanna rake the yard. I've been working on it. <laughs> Every day it takes me, a, every day I do a little bit more, but there's just so many things that are in the process of being done. 
But I also want to clean the chicken coop out completely, which is super important to me. So I'm going to try and finish the yard. The, no, I like my dog. She likes to be out here with me. I just really want to finish one job while we have this warm, while we have this warm spell. And it is leaving. So that is the grossest job ever. I'm definitely gonna have more infections and more fingers because it was gross. I'm not finished. I think I just have to accept the fact that even though I used to finish every job I started in my 30s and 40s and my 20s, in my 50s, I need breaks. So we got half done. That's it. <laughs> half done. There's gonna be another half later today or maybe tomorrow, I don't know. But all I know is that this is all I can get done for now. I'm gonna take this extra water out, clean their feed pans, and give them fresh food. And then we will be done this for now because I am sweaty and stinky. But I really wanna get this job done. Half done, you guys, half done. That's all I could do today. It was the stinkiest job ever. Did I actually show you guys the finished product of the poop pile? So a guy came and took a lot of loads. Sam can push this back now. Ellie, get out of there. Ellie, get, uh, get that poop out of your mouth. Oh man. <laughs> Sam can push this back now and it would be like a, probably a quarter of the size that it was. So that's super handy. And he's gonna come back and get more. Aww. They were, they were grooming each other until Gracie saw me and she's like, I'm coming, Laura. Do you want me? I could come anytime. Today we could have left this door open. She left it open. Get the air to breeze through. Like my spring cleaning is gonna be getting all this stuff all cleaned and brushed and swept. Anyway, what's on the agenda today? Well, this thing was frozen in the winter time and cracked. <gasps> That's a big crack. So the water <laughs> leaks out. So are you gonna be able to fix it? Yeah, so I got this stuff from the dollar store. Oh, from the dollar store. It's the best stuff ever. It's a uh, five minute epoxy and it seals it really quick. It mixes together and then Wow, it that's seals really it. it's cool. Like the best stuff you can ever buy for a dollar fifty. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So I'm gonna put it on here. So this is like hundred and thirty bucks? Hundred and fifty bucks? No, this was like 200 and something, wasn't this it? Was, I don't know. These things are expensive, that's expensive. all I know. And uh, Sam's going to be able to fix this. So that Penny can drink from it again, from all the horses can drink from it again. Yeah. I can't even believe we still have ice. Oh my gosh. It's huge ice. This is like a... I should get Sophie to come out and try and help me get it out. Huge icicle. Still. Do you guys remember when we first moved here and I was in love with this bench? I actually want to paint it this year. It's a green color. I think I'm going to paint it green again. That's also on my list. I really want to paint it. This is someplace special. And whenever we have family or friends come over, we don't video it a lot, but whenever they come over, and whenever we're like hanging with the horses and stuff, then we always are sitting on this bench. This bench has been home to a lot of butts this past year. And I'm so thankful that the snow is gone and that the mud is kind of dried up. It, this is also the path that the horses take. <laughs> so they run through here and go around there. They take a shortcut. <laughs> anyway, so it's a little muddy here, but I really think that this field here will recuperate. I think grass will still grow. I think it won't be like a really luscious, luscious amazing field. You can definitely tell a difference from over there and over there. But I think it will recover enough that our horses can feel 
that our horses can be out here. Sometimes still go back and forth wondering if this is the dog that I really wanted because I miss the cuddling and the tininess of the Chihuahua that I've had almost my whole life. But she's honestly my best friend. She's literally, she doesn't like to be held, but she's beside me always. She never leaves me, even at night, her and Ruby. But when we're outside, she sticks with me all the time. I, I don't, like the other girls don't always like to take their dogs with them. Uh, Daisy hates to be anywhere the other animals are. And not all the dogs go with us everywhere that we go. But I try and keep Ellie with me all the time because she honestly always has my back and I love her so much. Will I ever get another Yorkie? No. <laughs> Mel, <laughs> I'm thinking of you and all your comments warning me. Don't get a Yorkie. But she's not vicious. She's not mean. But she is a fighter. <laughs> and she loves to chase animals. But she also has the energy that I wanted to keep up with me on the farm. She's yawning. She's like, let's just have a break now. <laughs> energy? What energy? <laughs> You're such a funny dog. <laughs> I just love you. Yes, I just love you. All right, how's the epoxy going? Oh, it looks good. Well, I don't know what to take really. Got to harden up now. It's running down, dripping down. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, set quick enough. So you, do you think it will work? Yeah, it should work. All right, well, that's awesome. I'm glad to not have to buy a whole new water jug. I know, you need that. All right, so I'm gonna end today's video so I can just enjoy this amazing sunshine. Ellie, stop eating horse poop. Drop it, drop it. <laughs> but before I go, I wanted to just tell you guys that one, I didn't mean to mislead people. My friend sent me a message and said something about my title not being good. So what happens when I make my title is like, I wanted it to say, Tilly is for sure having triplets because we, we measured them and for sure I think she's having triplets. Uh, so when I get a title or I think of a title, I put it into this little program that we use and then it spits out. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? Oh, what the heck? It's right over top of my duck and my goose. Do I see it? That's annoying. <laughs> Birds are going to be the bane of my existence this year. But anyway, so I put it in the program and it spits out a smaller title. It spits out like a title that is smaller and more appropriate. And so that's how I get my titles. So my friend was like, Laura, your title. And I was like, what, why? Like, what did, what, like, how did it come across to you? And she thought that it meant that I had babies. But it's just the way that I found to do titles that works better for me. What it was meant to be about was that she's for sure having triplets because we measured her. But that's just too long to put in a title. Hopefully that makes sense. But the last thing I wanted to say, I think that I see signs that there's a baby. I think Tilly's udder, no, I think Mocha's udder looks a quite a bit bigger to me today. It doesn't look longer exactly the way Blossom's came. Um, it just kind of stayed the same size, but filled up and got thicker, got wider. So anyway, I think I saw the beginning of that today and she's looking kind of rough. So I think the babies are probably gonna come on Thursday. That's my best guess, but it's any, it's touch and go, I think. I feel like it's touch and go from now until Thursday. But anyway, there are going to be babies here on the ground in the next couple of days. I can't wait to share it with you guys. But that is it for today's video. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?